Good evening everyone. Today we are going to see how the 9 axis motion sensor the Nordic Thingy 52 works. First let's go with the accelerometer. Accelerometer is a device that measures the acceleration of a body in any direction. So um, the device gives output in voltage that in turn is being converted into meter per second square or in g-forces. G-forces is nothing but a measurement which gives you the value output in terms of gravitational force. So since we are in planet earth 1g is equal to 9.8 meter per second square. So for example if the accelerometer gives the output as 5g's it means 5 into 9.8 meter per second square. So that's g first basically. And most commonly the, all the accelerometers are piezoelectric in nature and they are MEMS device. MEMS means micro electromechanical devices. So if you see from this diagram the piezoelectric device sensor has a piezoelectric material in the bottom and mass on top of it which is hung by a spring. And as you can see uh, when there is a force in this direction the mass will move in the opposite direction according to the Newton's law of inertia. So at that time the piece of material is compressed and because of the change in dielectric there is a change in the voltage. As you can see in this diagram there is no change in voltage as the pointer is pointing to zero and in this diagram since there is a change in dielectric and hence a change in voltage is ob obtained. So this is how a si single axis accelerometer works. So combining the accelerometer and integrating it into a single chip, a lot of accelerometers integrated into a single chip, a 3 axis accelerometer can be obtained which will give you the output in all directions. When the chip is moved in x direction, the change in velocity that is acceleration is give, obtained in the x direction or y direction or z direction. So this is how an accelerometer works. Next, let's move on to the gyroscope. A gyroscope is a device that measures the angular velocity. Even this is a MEMS device. Take for example a cycle wheel. So this wheel is hung from the top in one axis. When this wheel is rotated in this direction, the angular velocity can be obtained, right? There is a change in the initial angle and its final angle. So since there is a change, it means that the body has moved from that place to this place. So if a body has moved, it means that it has created a velocity. This is a chip. This is how the MEMS device will look like. Usually MEMS device uh, measure in, will be measured in size from 10 micrometers to 100 micrometers. They are so small and as you can see in this diagram there are three axes. So the one axis measures the angular velocity in its particular axis. Similarly the other two axes also measures it. Even if there is a small change in the orientation of the sensor a small current is produced. This is how we measure the angular velocity when there is a disturbance in the orientation of the device. And similar to the accelerometer, even this sensor is piezoelectric. As you can see from this diagram, each module will be consisting a minimum of three sensors used for all three directions, that is all three axes. So when the body is either rotated in x direction or y direction or z direction or in between any of those directions the change in values of all three sensors are combined and then an output is given now let's take a real life example consider a flight over here this is the thrust that is the upward and downward motion when the flight is turning in any of the direction that is taking left or right the flight will 
tilt towards one side with respect to the axis consider an axis passing through the nose of the uh, flight and coming out through the tail so if that is the axis of reference if the rotation is done with that, that axis it's called as roll and during takeoff and landing the nose of the flight will either be pointing downwards or upwards that motion is called as pitch and yaw this motion is nothing but the rotation of the body with respect to its own axis that means uh, the best example is a helicopter the helicopter can rotate without moving at all that is called as yaw the telescope is used in aeroplanes to maintain the balance of the aeroplane so that it doesn't topple over or change any of its orientation which will, which will be causing a lot of disturbances for the passengers as well as the pilots next we'll be moving on to the magnetometer magnetometer is nothing but a device that measures the change in magnetic field in the surrounding of the sensor usually magnetometers use hall sensor hall sensor is nothing but which explain right now consider a magnet a plain magnet and the hall sensor is placed over here the sensor terminals are connected to output volt output as well as an input the output is VH which means hall voltage and the input is VIN this is V input usually in the hall sensor all the electrons and holes are separated in one side like like in the diagram so when there is a change in magnetic field the electrons and the holes will be pushed to one side that is far extreme sides so when they are pushed to far extreme sides or when they are contracted that is when they come to their original position there will be a change in voltage change in output voltage that output voltage is called as the hall voltage so when there is a hall voltage produced it means that the direction of the device has been changed magnetometers are usually used as digital com digital as well as analog compasses so some people might be wondering why that why this is a three axis magnetometer magnetometer usually gives you the just the direction that is not south east or west only four directions are, directions are available so one, uh, one axis be enough right but consider this this example if you are on the equator then you will be holding the uh, compass perpendicular to the axis of the earth so at that time when you place the device facing towards north it should give you the answer as north right and if you move somewhere 60 degrees or 70 degrees in latitude at that time when you hold the compass in your hand it is slightly tilted from the original place towards the axis right even at that time when you hold the compass in your hand facing north the answer result should be north also when you are on the top of the earth that is when you are in either of the poles the compass which you will be holding will be exactly parallel to the axis of the earth even at that time north should be resulted as north so the orientation of the compass will change from pla place to place anywhere on the earth so when there is a change in the orientation you might, you might get a different value in all places of the earth but it doesn't happen that's because of that's because we're using three axis magnetometers